some notes, and you're actually going to have to take notes because I want you to physically write this stuff down so you will remember it. So go ahead and get out like a piece of paper and something to write with. You're going to take a picture of your note when you're finished and post it in the assignment. But today I'm going to go over some basic terms for you with genetically modified organisms. Okay, so we're still in the same unit that talks about disease and bacteria and all that, but there's a section on um, biotechnology. So all of this falls under biotechnology. And it's talking about stuff that's genetically modified. So genetically modified organisms as abbreviated GMOs so any tyrosine GMO, that means genetically modified organism. Um, that can be, organism can be a plant or an animal. So it can be either one. And what they do is they actually insert genes. Genes, genetic information from one organism. into another. This is not a natural thing. So they're genetically altering an organism. Um, they do it for two reasons. There's an agricultural reason and a medical reason. And then they've just got some weird ones where they've played around with stuff. Um, but these are the main two branches of genetic modification. Agriculture and medical, okay? So they kind of have these little key terms, and on your test, they'll, you'll see these little key terms um, for anything that's genetically modified. So if it's agriculture, it's talking something about feeding the world, okay? That's actually a slogan that the company that does the most genetic modification uses. So that's their slogan, and that company is called Monsanto. So this is a company. It's actually a chemical company. So Monsanto started doing a lot of their work um, with military contracts um, back in a bunch of the wars. They helped to develop Agent Orange at DDT. You guys know what that is? Anybody know? You ever heard of it before? Agent Orange? Yeah, I've heard of that one. Agent Orange. Where have you heard it? Uh, one of my neighbors we had. Yep. So you probably had a neighbor that was in Vietnam, right? So if you have grandparents that were in Vietnam or you know people that were in Vietnam, they were exposed to Agent Orange. Um, it is a carcinogen. Agent Orange or DDT. So it's a carcinogen. What does that mean? Come on, you know what it means. I've heard the word before, right? Somebody says something's a carcinogen. Cigarettes are carcinogens. What does it give you? Or what can it give you? Yeah. So carcinogen means it causes cancer. So Jerry's neighbor was exposed to Agent Orange or DDT in Vietnam. Most of the guys that were exposed to that ended up getting cancer. It's such a strong carcinogen. It's a toxin. It's poison. It causes cancer. So a lot of the guys that were in Vietnam were exposed to that and they now have cancer because of it. What they did is they went in and they sprayed it. Vietnam was like a jungle. So they went in and they sprayed that Agent Orange or DDT to kill off all the plants. 
So it is an herbicide. Herbicide just means it kills plants. So it's an herbicide. The government started using it and then realized it was really bad and it was giving all these people cancer, killing people, so they quit using it. So basically, Monsanto lost their contract for it. Um, but instead of losing money on it, they basically diluted it down. And they made Roundup. What is Roundup? It's a weed killer. Okay. Still an herbicide. It's by the same company that developed Agent Orange DDT. They just diluted it down a little bit to where it's not going to kill you right away. It's still a carcinogen. It's still going to cause long-term health effects if you're exposed to it. So, that's the background of the company. They were a chemical company. So, then they developed Roundup. Get rid of the weeds in your yard. Okay. Um, then, when genetic modification came along in the 90s, they got involved with it and started developing GMO crops. Okay. So, genetically modified crops are most commonly referred to as Roundup Ready, and I'm going to use corn as an example because that's their biggest one. Has anybody ever heard of Roundup Ready corn? No. Isn't it that like cheaper at the store that you can buy that? Yeah, it's cheap, and yeah, we're going to get into that. It's cheap because this company has made it to where it's so cheap to buy it. That's what everybody wants to buy because it's cheap. Not because it's good for you, but because it's cheap. Roundup Ready corn is genetically modified and it can be sprayed with Roundup and not die. Their corn also emits a pesticide. So that's another genetic modification. What's a pesticide? I told you an herbicide kills what? Um, Plants. Pesticide kills. Pesticide. Side means kill. What does it kill? Pest. pest. So bugs are considered pests for like a garden. So it kills pests. So basically it kills insects. Another word for it instead of pesticide, sometimes you'll hear it called insecticide. All right, so that's gonna kill off any insects that land on it. So the corn can be sprayed with Roundup all day long, it never kills it. And it also kills insects that land on it, okay? If you're just looking for yield, if you're just looking for how much corn you're gonna get, this is gonna get more yield because you're not gonna have any plants competing with it. You're also not gonna have any insects eating on it. But is it good for you to eat stuff that has been sprayed with Roundup and emits its own insecticide. No. no, no, it's not good for you because we already know that this stuff is a carcinogen. Okay, so they think that that's why there's a big spike in cancer now. It's because everybody's eating this Roundup Ready corn. Corn is in almost every single thing you buy in the store, um, and this company has made it that way because the government does something called subsidizes farmers, so they pay them to grow this crop. This is a big, big company. It's also involved in the government, okay? So they subsidize farmers to grow this crop so they get paid for it, reduces the cost of the corn, and therefore we start to put it into everything. So, more than likely, if you are taking a test, um, because this company is involved in government stuff, you're not gonna see really bad things on your test when it comes to genetic modification. Um, you're gonna see stuff like 
that goes along with their so slogan, feed the world. So they're trying to end hunger, feed the world, feed the poor, that kind of stuff. Or if they mention anything that's bad, they will say something like, we don't know the long-term effects of it. Okay? So that's kind of their little scapegoat that they use to get out of saying that it might be bad for you. So, uh, Roundup Ready corn is the most common genetically modified agricultural thing. There's, round, there's uh, beets that are genetically modified, there's cotton. Uh, there's a ton of stuff like that that is, there's also a genetically modified salmon that they farm, you know, salmon farms. Um, and they genetically modify them to go really big really fast just so they can get uh, more profit from it. Okay, so that's the agricultural side of genetically modified stuff. Medical side, their kind of slogan is cure disease. Now, the medical side of it is not as bad as the agricultural side because we're not dealing with all these bad chemicals, okay? Medical side is actually trying to cure disease. The most common um, genetic modification with medical stuff is insulin. What do you use insulin for? Um, I'm not sure what it's for, but I know people uh, are like sick. Yeah, it's for diabetes. So there's two types of diabetes, two main types. There's type one and type A. One is where your body uh, basically doesn't produce insulin, and the other one is where your body doesn't do what it's supposed to with insulin, doesn't make it like it's supposed to. So you get insulin shots to help you level out your blood sugar levels. They've actually developed um, diabetic medicines and insulins from a genetic modification. of bacteria. So they've used the bacteria to help them um, make insulin for diabetics. So they've genetically modified it, they've taken the genes, they've engineered it to where they can produce insulin for people. Uh, that's the most common one. We also, if you're talking about biotechnology, um, it will also get into other weird stuff, medical stuff like um, cloning, uh, and like, uh, mixing DNA of animals. There's, uh, one of the weirdest ones I've heard of is a goat that they've genetically modified to produce spider silk in its milk, okay? And the reason they do that, the spider silk, they use that for like uh, the bulletproof vests, okay? So it's not like it's something that's real easy to come by, so they get these goats to produce it now in their milk. So you basically mix a spider with a goat. So they've taken the DNA from the spider, inserted it into the genes that go for milk production in the goat, and it causes them to mix their milk with spider webs. Um, they don't really know the lasting effects of stuff like that. Um, cloning, they know that when you clone animals, they don't live as long as other animals. They have a lot of health problems. As far as like, farm animals, I don't know that that does anything to the goat or if it does anything if like you eat a goat like that, I don't really know. But they do mix the DNA of some animals. So they splice the DNA um, and insert the new section to make it do something weird like produce spider silk. Okay. Alright, so just remember biotechnology um, can be called genetically modified or GMOs. It can also be referred to as genetically engineered. It can also be referred to as transgenic. Anytime you hear any of these words, transgenic, genetically engineered, genetically modified, or biotechnology, it all means the same thing. Basically divided into two parts, 
agricultural and medical. Agricultural focuses on like the Roundup Ready stuff. That company Monsanto will promote it to feed the world, but they don't know what it's gonna do to you because you are being exposed to carcinogens with that. Medical side of it is to cure disease. Anything you see about it on a test will probably have something to do with curing disease. Insulin is the main one that's always discussed with that. Okay? All right, do you guys have any questions about that? No? It's pretty straightforward. All right, so there is an Ed puzzle that you need to watch, so go ahead and watch the Ed puzzle. Take a picture of your notes and insert it in that assignment. Um, and that should be it.